In 2018, James Gunn got fired when his original concept for Groot was revealed. Now, Marvel's come crawling back for one last job, and Gunn has delivered a masterpiece, at least compared to their other crap. <laughs> I'm gonna need to take some time. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. The Guardians are back, and since you probably missed the Christmas special, here's a quick recap. Quill and Mantis are siblings. He's your brother. It doesn't matter, he still doesn't listen to me. Groot is starting to branch out. Drax is still Drax. He'll know people. To one guy, one stupid guy who no one loves. Newcomer Adam Warlock is also Drax. I could show him we mean business! What more business could we have shown him? Gamora's from an alternate timeline where she ran out of shampoo. Nebula is conducting an on-screen chemistry experiment. Knock it off! What? And Rocket Raccoon is a valuable piece of IP that Space Disney will kill to get back. There's no escape, little guy. We own you forever. <laughs> Speaking of Disney, Cower in Fear from Orgo Corp, a different child imprisoning corporation. Jib Jib. And meet their CEO, the High Evolutionary. He set out to play God. There is no God! That's why I stepped in! But we'll settle for playing Pokemon. Yes, he's another evil purple guy, but in a Marvel first, he'll teach us that science should only be used to keep the status quo. You didn't want to make things perfect. You just hated things the way they are. And when you think about it, that's the lesson Tony Stark taught us too. And Emil Blonsky, and Audra Killian, and Maya Hansen, and Darren Cross, and Fastos, and Riri Williams, and Cassie Lang, and... Prepare for a Rocket Raccoon origin story full of laughs. It's good to have friends. Tears. <laughs> thrills. <laughs> tears. <laughs> tears. They want to kill us all in the morning. Oh, <gasps> tears. <laughs> tears. <laughs> and tears. Rocket? Yeah, he's okay. In this feature-length Sarah McLaughlin commercial for a story that gives wholehearted support for animal rights, as long as they're cute. You ever feel a little sad for them? Yeah, sure. So prepare for the MCU movie that you were convinced would kill off your phase. didn't do that at all. I'm okay. And still managed to be a total downer. What's even the point of being born? Because quip all you want, but on a long enough timeline, everyone goes past their prime. You keep your grimy raccoon hands off my shoes. Music gets progressively worse. Britney Spears and corn. Good choices. And even if you make it through all your battles, everyone you know someday will die. Forget. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, look at all the goo. Goo, 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 Starring. It's me, Star Lord. Sadly, Cooper. Gamora, the Explorer. Big. Blue Beetle Borg, Ladybug, Parenting for Dummies, Palm Toretto, he's a decent villain, more or less, Eyebrows Kid, no, Eyebrows Man, Paw Patrol, Whistling Dick, see? You're a bad dog. Hawkeye's Wife, is that you? Judy Greer, no seriously, look it up. And remember Alf, he's back in note form. Close Encounters for a Third Time. Okay, how does Groot's language work exactly? Do characters just suddenly understand him once they become <coughs> family? I love you guys. 
Regardless, he definitely says d**k him off right here. Mantis, why don't you just touch him and, you know, make him happy? I am Groot. Gross. No, not like that. Don't adjust your timelines. We track all the dead wives, Michael Caines, and more across Christopher Nolan's whole filmography in a brand new episode of By the Numbers. Click the box on the right to watch now. I'm only here to parody trailers and read comments, and I'm all out of trailer. I am become Barbie Girl, the destroyer of Barbie worlds. Don't tell Scotty, Scotty doesn't know. Someday we're gonna go flying together into the forever and beautiful sky.